Yo, hey everybody. Uh, so I made a setup for the throw on S2 agent for potential use in getting a good fast time in agent RTA. Um, this setup is 100% consistent assuming you have fine-tuned your own personal uh, nuances that may differ from what I do here, but in general you should be able to get this every single time you hit the throw. So however well you can throw the, the, the mine with the proper frame, that's how often you should be able to save. The amount of time that you will save with this strategy, and you'll see how much we save here once I finish explaining here, but uh, I'll just kind of go through my setup run really quick. Turn down my audio a bit. So you're going to be playing it exactly like uh, Agent IL, where you, you're going to take this exact same route same lines. Nothing crazy here. The fact that you can just go ahead up to actually get to the divergence point. So now we cross that first tower and we're gonna cross the second tower and now normally in IL you'd take a turn to the right right here but instead we're going to be aiming for this corner or this peak here of the the mound. So just continue this line it takes you on, and you hit that. And then if you examine this level or just know the the topography, you'll know there's a seam here. You can kind of see it in a run. It's kind of hard to see, but like when you know where it is, it's very easy to follow. So then turn a little right here and follow the seam, and then you're gonna keep following it, and then you're gonna see a bright spot underneath you and see how I just passed over the bright spot you can see that flash just like went away and as soon as that flash goes away you stop now if you turn a little earlier it's a lot easier to see so you, instead of aiming for like right here you aim for like a little bit in front of it and then you turn you'll be able to see the seam and then see the bright spot a little easier so I'd recommend probably doing that but since I had already knew, knew where to go it was easy for me to just know where I was so anyway you hit that bright spot you stop right on it and now you're going to be turning in place and depending on your CRT you may or may not be able to see this as clearly as I can it's still not that easy but you're going to be looking for this tree line and it's similar to maybe what you can use in the IL but uh, for here, you're going to want to be turning until the left side of your screen is, like here is the edge of the trees. I know, I know it looks really hard to see right here. Uh, it's a little easier to see when you're moving. Like you can, you can clearly see when the frame is moving where the edge is. Like you can see my thing tracing it. It's like right there. So what you're going to want to do is have your, the side of your screen on the very edge of the trees. Now it, in my capture, like here's the edge. Edge, 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 edge. So here's the edge and the left side of my screen is there, but interestingly enough most CRTs are going to cut off this part. Depending on your TV it may cut off only this much or it may cut off even more. So this exact amount you're going to have to just figure out on your own, but the error margin should be large because the throw isn't that tight as far as your angle goes. So for me, it turns out at the very edge of this tree line is exactly where I want my CRT edge to be. And it seems like I have a pretty standard cutoff, so it seems like a good starting point, I'd say, is to aim for where your side of your CRT will be on the edge of this tree, which will then actually be the same amount of turning as this frame you see here. So I'll just kind of show it in motion one more time. I go to the bright spot, I turn in place, and as soon as my CRT edge is on the edge of the tree line, you just look straight up and do the same throw you always do. And then you're going to just keep going and detonate at the right time. Now, for those who learned the agent IL using the bright spot on the ground to detonate, I'm going to recommend uh, something I have did, I've done for a long time and also did my IL is to use the audio to know where to detonate because this way you don't have to rely on some crazy dumb spot on the ground that you can't even see on this particular line. Uh, so what I do, I'll go back here when I throw it. 
notice there's four separate sound effects. Throw, switch, switch, detonate. All four of those sound effects are equally spaced by design. Now the first two sound effects you see here are you can't help the the spacing of those. Like when you throw and you run out of ammo, you automatically switch at the same you know interval. So you're gonna want to use that interval from when you throw to when you switch. That's your first and second count. So that's like a one, two, and then you're just gonna extrapolate that count to three, four. And you, if you if you're good at timing which I'd, I hope you are good at timing things, you know, just being a, a good gamer, you know, you should be able to extrapolate that out relatively easily. Now, if you're like nervous for some reason, it may be, you'll fuck it up, but it's early enough in the run, you know, I don't think it'll be an issue, even if you get a good frigate, uh, you shouldn't be that nervous. So, again, you know, play it out, two, three, so you, you want to like time your manual weapon switch to the mine to be in the third count, basically, so throw that, and then you're going to want to hit A as soon as you're ready for the third count, detonate on the fourth count. One more time. Throw, two, three, four. Perfectly done. And it'll always be on the correct detonation, you know, how far away it is from you. It'll always be the, the proper depth. And then from here on out, it's just the same finish as you do in the RTA. Uh, obviously, a strafe change just to make it easier to see where I go. Um, maybe theoretically, it's better to finish in the same strafe and turn the line. But, you know, it's RTA, you don't want to fuck this up for safety only in 10 or something. So, yeah, we'll see the time we get here. It is a 50, which is a pretty good time. Uh, I'd assume you can get 49 pretty easily once you uh, fine-tune this, because you notice here my look down isn't amazing. You know, it, it's decent, but it's not, like, amazing. And then also here I set up my angle for a good... Let's see how long I set up my angle for. 44 flat is when I start. I set it up for a good 6 tenths. Now, when you get really good at this strategy, if you practice it as much as you probably should if you're going for the record, I bet you can set this up in a couple tenths, or maybe even have it lined up already. And in that case, saving a, you know, 0.5 seconds here, along with some better look down and a tighter turn here for sure at the end. Like this is, a, I didn't try very hard to get this, you know, really well. This is a super wide turn. You could get 49, I'm positive of that. So 49, 100% consistent, assuming you hit the, fr hit the throw frame, it's like, more than you can ask for for a strategy and agent RTA. So hopefully this helps. If you have any issues, let me know. But uh, I think this will be easy to do. Nothing, you know. I just learned this myself. I just figured it out. It took me like five minutes to figure out where to turn to. And now obviously there's like other positions that could work. Like you know, ask if you might ask like why don't I go over to where you normally throw it from in, in the IL? And the only problem is like there's just no consistent location to stand on like I want to make sure we have a easy to, to, to spot initial starting position and if we can get 49 with this like maybe you can get 48 the other way if you do it like the way you do it in IL it's like one second difference but this extra second you lose gives you so much more consistency probably unless you're just like Sam who grinds this level non-stop and just knows where to be I mean, if you really want to just be a madman and grind this level an hour a day or however much you want to to make sure you can save that extra one second, then be my guest. But I'd say stick with this for now. Uh, feel free to improve upon it. And if you do have any tinkering uh, or just changes, you should probably let me know or post it in some thread so that everyone else can uh, use it to their advantage as well. So I guess one more time, I'll run it through from where the run diverges from the IL again. So here's the tower. Tower. And aiming for that bomb turn. Flash stop.
record soon. So that's it. Peace out.